Hello there. I decided to do a little video uh, just showing you the Nagaoka MP110 cartridge and uh, the spare diamond stylus to the cartridge. Uh, what happened with me was that while I was, uh, I mean this is not a brand new cartridge, I've used it before, but what happened was that while I was removing the cartridge uh, from my turntable, I accidentally bent the needle and uh, I had to then order uh, a new diamond stylus and it's been lying uh, sealed, I haven't yet used it, so I thought maybe I'll just make a short video showing you the components. Uh, so as I said, this has already been used. Uh, it's 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 uh, screwed down uh, by this little screw here. Uh, in fact, it's on it's supposed to be on both sides, but I've just done one of them. Uh, this little screwdriver is provided uh, along uh, with the cartridge. Uh, so I'm just quickly going to uh, remove the uh, cartridge from the packaging. So this tiny screw here comes off. Well, there. So there's your cartridge, and as you can see, the needle here has been bent. Uh, but the good thing is that the needle is replaceable. Uh, so basically, the the needle head just comes off with a little push like that, and. This is the uh, this is the cantilever at the back, if you can see, and this is the stylus that I've accidentally bent, and I doubt I can fix this or use it. Uh, so basically, this is the re remaining part of the shell, and uh, the needle, uh, the diamond stylus is here, and. I haven't yet opened it. It's still sealed. Try this with the screwdriver. So these little seals on the side. I can take them out. Let me show you the stylus inside. So there you go. This is how the stylus is packed inside. This is the little plastic casing. And there is the new needle. So now I'll go cut 110. I should be very careful because I've already bent this one before. So yeah. So this slides into, oh sorry. So this basically is the little uh, Inlet for the cantilever to slide in. I hope I'm doing it correct. Yep. Yep. And that's how you fix the needle into the cartridge. Always remember to use one of these protective covers. Don't work without them. I mean, that's how I managed to bend it in the first place. Thanks for watching.